Greetings fellow gamers, this is Small Archangel and we are back in the Alpha Pen today. We are checking out Dragon, which has been in early release for quite some time now. Uh, I've been following with interest because I've always loved Dragons and what's not to like. There's been quite a lot of tweaking that have been done on all aspects of the game, but the main one that's really noticeable is the Dragon here. Now the last video I did was way back and what the alpha version was at that point I forget but we're on version uh, 0, 0. 0.8.1 I don't know anyway a lot has been done and this this dragon looks much much better now the terrain has also been improved greatly uh, sadly if we try and create a dragon we're still not able to customize it none of these sliders actually do anything so there's not much point in us trying to do that for the moment so we've got online and uh, options as well but I'm just going to stick at the moment with offline we've got camera options as well so we can zoom in and out we can't change the color of our dragon but he does move his head in the direction you move your mouse which is quite good when you want to fire blast something the animation has received a massive overhaul as you can see I honestly don't know though what the pluses and minuses are just there uh, I'm not sure what they do know and I still haven't quite got the hang of uh, flying with the new mechanics. This I should point out is uh, a beta uh, within the alpha at the moment uh, so it's an opt-in. The music's been changed as well it's now kind of random um, and scrolls between tracks. And we can, of course, set fire to trees. There we go. That's a couple of them burned, just in case that's our bag, baby. This is just a test world, so only part of the world is really completed. But combat has been re, uh, re commenced as well. I've got stuck in a tree. Great stuff. Okay. Okay, go forwards little dragon come on Spyro forwards you go thank you you can't actually move forwards until you've got sufficient momentum which is probably quite uh, realistic but the new flying mechanics are quite cool really because you can do a barrel roll or fly upside down you can do a dive I'm not sure if you can do yeah, I think we can, but it does weird things to you. Oh, hello. Uh, apologies to anybody who suffers from motion, motion sickness. That probably didn't do you the world of good, but it's quite fun from my point of view. Okay, so we're going to see if we can find some structures to destroy and possibly some creatures to kill and eat because both of those features have now been uh, reinvented also in this build. Easier said than done. I have seen the odd troll stamping around with a club, including when I first started the game, so there must be one up by the castle over here. The castle is looking better too. I'm not sure if I can actually set fire to the castle. I can fly through it, apparently. Oh, now I'm confused. Okay. Ah, uh, for some reason. Just falling completely down there, right. There we go, flying backwards. Uh, did I burn down a bit of that castle there? I might have done. I am completely flying backwards now, so that's uh, slightly odd. Alright. That, I think, is a tree stump where I burned a tree down. But we should have some houses somewhere. Uh, I have seen them when I last had a go. And we have victims. Probably should keep out of his way, really. Oh, there he is. He's gone. Okay. Okay. Uh, landing would be really good at this point. Okay. Alright, so now I eat him apparently. Oh no, 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 no. 
right click to feed. Okay, where did he go? He's over there. Right click to feed. Alright. Eat, eat, eat him, eat him. Okay, that just took off, damn it. Okay, as a concept, this is great, but it's really quite difficult to eat. Eat, little dragon, eat. We're never going to get our growth if we don't eat. Maybe it's because the guy, he's gone, he's disappeared. That's not very helpful. But uh, nonetheless, I have got 520 growth points, so I'm not sure if I actually kind of did what I was supposed to do there. There's another troll over here, so we'll see if we can have him too. There's no place to hide, little trolley. You're going down, pal. Where is he? He's hiding behind these trees or is he dead? I'm not sure. There's no hiding. Oh, you see, I've got him. Aye, aye, aye. And he's down. Okay. I'm supposed to... Now, I think something weird is going on with the camera, which means that I can't actually control my dragon properly, and I think that's what's stopping me from being able to feed. I'm not sure. Press F1 for help. We do have this. Um, space. No, that doesn't tell me about eating. I don't know. Anyway, he's kind of relocated for some flaming reason anyway. I'm not sure. Right click to feed. I am doing. I am doing. I think. I think I'm right click. Well, now, what was that? That was quite interesting. Okay. I am right clicking to feed. I'm not sure it's... Oh, plus one. There we go. Nom, 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 nom. I think we're doing it. I quite get to like this dragon. Uh, look at that. What is that strange looking? And the other thing we can do with this is a nice sonic roar. I have to admit, I quite like the way that he uh, that he runs now. <laughs> and apparently, ultimately, we'll be able to level up our powers too. So, um, so we'll be able to level up our sonic roar to a, a point where we can knock down trees with it, maybe. Or, uh, knock down our enemies with it. And uh, we do have a day and night cycle now as well, which... <laughs> still got all these numbers, and I don't know what they're supposed to mean. There's... Oh, here we go. Oh, no more trees in the way. Okay, oh uh, yeah. My can't really, like, do that. He's, okay, he's chasing me. This isn't the way it's supposed to go. He's gonna hit me in a minute. No, 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 no. There's still a dead thing there as well. Okay. Now I got ya. Now I got ya. Oh, is he dead? Is he dead in midair? Okay, right. Well, um, not sure if I can eat the guy. Um, nom, nom. Yeah, 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 I can. Yeah, I can. Okay. It doesn't have any feeding items or anything, but we can. So let's have another go at this one now. Yeah, I am doing. Uh, yep, and I keep taking it off for some reason, which isn't what I want to do at all, but never mind. Okay, so a little bit difficult to control. Maybe I need to read the uh, instructions a bit more. Oh, and I've just face planted as well. All right, so, so far not been able to find any buildings to uh, burn down. Certainly before I joined the optional, um, the opt-in beta here, I did find that one of the major bugs I suffered from was, uh, whether it was my setup or not, um, the buildings just didn't stay put. Even if I didn't actually burn them down myself, they just weren't there. So they'd be there one second, they'd come back to burn them down, and they were gone, which was very unsporting. And, uh, kind of denied me my fun quotient, really. Um, so I'm not sure if that's still happening. Maybe I need to do a reinstall. A lot of changes have happened while I've had this game. Obviously, I've kind of restarted every time. Because at the moment, there's not that much that you can really do in-game, so... 
it's a case of just testing it out a little bit really. Up, oh, I'm in a tree. Okay. What that looks like. The oh come on, Spyro, get with it. No, don't fly sideways, and certainly don't fly backwards. Come on. Come on, dude. I want to invest in will you stop flying backwards? Okay, yeah, this has always been a problem with the game as well. It's kind of flying backwards, so... And I'm still flying backwards. Will you please go forwards, dude? Please go forwards. What is going on? This isn't a great advertisement for the game, I know. What? What is he doing? That's <laughs> quite cute, actually. Once I get off this hill, I don't mind. I'll do it on foot, if need be. I just want to get off this hill. But you can turn your camera around so you can see your dragon kind of... Obviously it kind of clips through the world in some ways which isn't too great, but otherwise it's pretty cool. Alright, let's see if we can fly forwards now. Yeah, we can. I don't think it just didn't like that hill for some reason. Obviously there's still a lot of work to be done here. No, I'm wrong. I'm still flying backwards. What in the name of... Stop it, please. Okay, now I'm going... Okay. There's a button which enables you to use the camera uh, and it's the tilt key and if you press that it suddenly starts going very odd and uh, behaving strangely and, and kind of making you fly backwards and stuff. So it was probably that. Okay, do we have some more trolley type things? Yes we do. Now you used to be able to pick them up. <laughs> I've just gone face planted straight into him which is not what I meant to do. Oh, he's dead. Oh, he's dead. Oh, wow, that was pretty good then. Oh, oh, did I just relocate his corpse because I didn't eat him that fast, right? Here he is. So, I need to position myself until I'm in the appropriate place to feed and then hope that I'm actually, like, eating him. And I'm not entirely sure that I am. But... Growth points, thousand out of a thousand, which is pretty good. And he's gone, so I guess I did it. So, uh, we have got, um, it's basically a little bit of a, a test scenario. As I say, this is a test world. It is looking a lot better than it did uh, initially, but I think we do still have a slight problem with uh, buildings disappearing. Um, there should be, not very far from the castle, some wooden sort of shacks uh, which we can destroy. And I don't see any. And I had no difficulty finding them at all before, so I don't think it's me. I think they have gone. Um, I think they've despawned themselves again. So that's unfortunate, because I would have liked to play with setting fire to buildings, because let's face it, who wouldn't? That is the joy of a dragon simulator, after all. All I have to say, I quite like flying upside down. It's quite strange that flying upside down is no more difficult than flying the right way up. Now we clearly have some more trolls over there. Pretty sure that the building should be around here somewhere, but they're not, so let's go back to the castle. So the devs have got all sorts of plans for this, all the kind of things that you wish and hope and long for in a dragon simulator. Um, all the kind of things that you just think you have to be able to do, setting fire to stuff, earning the tributes of your loyal public, being good or evil, growing from a teeny little drake like this one into a, you know, great big huge behemoth, all that kind of good stuff. And so I'm going to continue to follow this uh, in eager anticipation of uh, what it might eventually turn into. 
and uh, I'm going to keep doing little videos as well, just little update videos on how, how it's going and how it's looking. So if anybody out there is wondering uh, whether to get it or if anybody's thinking now, why don't we have a, a really decent game in which you can be a dragon? Well, maybe in future this could be that game. I am really liking some of the aspects of it. I mean, as I say, it's got a long way to go, but it does show some promise, so... Okay, I'm in mid-air with my bum sticking in the air, but apart from that, and yeah, it's uh, chasing my own tail, there we go, Chase, chasing my own tail, it's fine. Okay, so yeah, it's uh, it's pretty good fun as things stand, if you ask me. Even though I can't control it ever so well. <laughs> <laughs> but I suppose part of being a young dragon is not being able to control yourself. Oh, look at that. That's a little bit interesting as well. I'm underneath the castle. But the terrain really has improved in leaps and bounds since I first played as well. Uh, all of it has. Um, I, yeah. I just wish it was slightly better sort of controlled, really. But look at that. Who could not like that, really? So I'm going to keep following it. And I don't know what those numbers are still, but now they look like a load of zeros, which doesn't look good, but everything looks fine to me. So, hey ho. So, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope this did, is kind of useful to anybody who's, uh, uh, yeah, saying what if or, you know, wondering whether they get it or not. In my opinion, uh, not very much you can do with the game at the moment, but definitely worth following to see where it goes in the future. Okay guys, so thank you for watching, and uh, keep gaming, and check out some of the other stuff I've got on my channel. Don't forget to hit the like button if you do like, and uh, maybe bugger me a subscription as well if you want to see more of the stuff that, uh, that I like to look at. Okay guys, bye bye for now.